guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am so excited because I'm gonna be testing out a very strange and beauty product. If you guys have been on this channel for quite some time, you'll know that I love trying new highlighters. I've tried out the putty highlighter a while back. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the eye just there, but it was such a cool highlighter. So when I saw this one, I was like, I have to test that out. So the highlighter I'm gonna be testing out today is by the brand called Farsali. I think that's how you pronounce it. You guys are probably gonna be quite familiar with this brand already because this is huge on Instagram and especially they're known for their like serum drops that people use in their like mini Instagram tutorials all the time. So last year in November they released this new highlighter called Jelly Beam Illuminator and this only comes in one shade and that is called Glazed. So I purchased this highlighter online and it came all the way from America which surprisingly it didn't actually take that long to ship. I think it only took like maybe five days or so which I was very surprised by so the shipping was very good um, and I paid like $47 for this including shipping so it is quite a pricey highlighter I'm not gonna lie I don't usually buy high-end highlighters because I feel like there's so many great alternatives at the drugstore but for the sake of this video I really wanted to pick this up because I just know this will be such a cool product to try out for you guys this is the product and what it looks like inside it's actually quite a small container like the pan is very thin from what I can see but the packaging is very pretty it's just like a gold top that says Farsali on it and it says the jelly beam illuminator as you can can see from the pan it's gonna be such a beautiful color okay so I literally I'm opening this for the first time and I'm actually quite scared I don't really know what to expect oh my god it's like moving in there look at that that is sick oh my god look at that it's like bloody moving inside the pan. So first need to try it out. I'm just gonna use my fingers just to see how it performs with just the warmth of my fingers. So I'm just gonna pop my finger in. Whoa, that's so cool. Do you guys see that? The consistency of this is so interesting. That has picked up a lot of the products. So I'm just gonna swipe some off so I don't waste any. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys just in a little bit and I'm now just gonna pop this onto my cheekbone. I'm actually really nervous. I have no idea how intense this is gonna look because on my finger, it looks pretty intense. Okay, here I go. Ooh. That is blinding, oh my goodness. How am I gonna blend this out? I feel like I've added way too much to my cheekbone, but we're just gonna roll with it. Okay, I'm gonna use a different finger to try and blend this in. Okay, so it's kind of going a little bit bitty and patchy on my skin. I'm not really too sure why that is. Maybe it's just because we haven't blended it in properly just yet. It blends quite easily, but I know that products like this tend to dry quite quickly, so I'm gonna try and work my way in as quick as I can, because we obviously don't want a stripe of highlighter on my face right now. I'm not really liking the texture as much as I thought I would. And maybe that's just because I'm applying it with my finger. It's kind of clinging to those dry spots of my face and not really giving my skin justice. But I'm gonna keep blending and see what I think afterwards. Okay, so this is it fully blended out into my cheekbone. What do you guys think? I kind of feel like everything I initially said about it becoming quite dry and bitty and kind of clinging onto those dry spots of my face, just completely disregard that because it is actually blended out super well. It doesn't look dry or patchy any longer now that I've really took my time to blend it out with my finger. As for the color, it is so beautiful. I feel like this color would suit a lot of different skin tones for sure. I'm really digging it and I really love how it looks in person, but I don't know, I just, on camera, it just doesn't really do it justice. I'm gonna try and blend this out maybe a little bit with my beauty blender just to see how it looks and how it pairs with the rest of the makeup because I feel like it's just made my contour really patchy. Okay. That's not looking so bad now, actually. I feel like that's really taken a 360 from how it looked. I mean, just a little bit of blending with a sponge really went a long way. I feel like the contour no longer looks patchy. After I've blended it out with the Beauty Blender, I feel like it's kind of become a part of the skin now, so it looks a lot better than it did to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks really good now, actually. So now that we know that this product works a lot better with a beauty blender, I think I'm gonna try and blend the other side with a beauty blender by itself. I kind of wanna just dip my beauty blender in there, see what happens. Ooh, did you guys see that? That is literally makeup porn right there. Okay, so I picked up some of that product on my sponge, so here we go. Oh, yeah. 
That's the one. This product is coming through, guys. Okay, so my verdict is that using a beauty blender is definitely giving you that kind of like everyday glow, whereas this side is just like full on blinding, girlfriend. So I'm just gonna try and build this up just a little bit. As you guys know, I like my highlighter to be quite prominent. So I'm just gonna go in with my finger and just add a little bit more product right there and then just blend that out with the Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that product on the very tip of my Beauty Blender. I'm gonna use this as my nose highlight because I'm actually quite intrigued as to how this will look on the tip of the nose. I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger actually. Okay, I'm literally left with a Tin Man nose right now. It's not blending out guys. Okay, I take it back. It's all good, it's all good. This highlight is literally so pretty. I just kind of want to bathe my whole face in it. So this is what the face looks like highlighted. Honestly, I think this product has definitely come through towards the end of this video. When I first initially applied it to my face, I was kind of a bit skeptical. I was like, why is it so patchy? And of course, to begin with, I was using my fingers. I mean, usually I haven't got a problem with using my fingers to blend out makeup products like contour or highlight. I feel like it's actually a lot better than brushes in some cases. But for this, I just feel like it wasn't working. It was kind of really clinging to the patches of my face to begin with. Then I kind of blended it a little bit more and it was working a lot better, but still, I just feel like the Beauty Blender took the crown for this one. I am obsessed with how this looks on the skin. It's just such a pretty glow. And of course, like I said, you can either have it really super blinding or you can have it quite natural and subtle like you guys saw on this side at first. I just think that this product is so cool, mostly for the texture. It's just something I have never seen before in a highlighter. Obviously, before we finish this video, I'm gonna give you guys a little highlight swatch on the arm just because I feel like, wow, that is so pretty, okay. Wait, I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more. Whoa, okay, yep. There it is. So that was the Fast Ali highlighter and I honestly was quite skeptical when I first tried this. I was a bit like, eh, is it really worth the money? Bear in mind you only get 15 mil in this pot and it is quite expensive. I spent what, 47, did I say $47 or something like that including shipping. So it is definitely on the high end price point but for the amount of product that you use to get this kind of effect, you only need the tiniest drop and a little goes definitely a long way. But if you guys feel like that that is way too much money for a highlighter of this kind, there is definitely so many drugstore alternatives out there which are just as blinding and just as beautiful as this. I think with this highlighter, you're definitely paying for like the gimmick of it and how cool it is. Also the packaging and just the fact that it also has um, Farsali like skincare inside it because Farsali are mostly known for skincare products. So they've actually included some skincare of theirs into this highlighter to be extra moisturizing and all that good stuff. So yeah, those were my thoughts on the Farsali highlighter. I do wanna know what you guys think of this so let me know down below in the comments. And also if you guys have any suggestions on what weird products I should try out next. I'm always open to suggestions, so let me know down below what you guys want me to try out next. If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. Come and join the dinosaur family, and also click the bell for notifications for every time I post a new video. But that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.